Got a little grease on my shirt. What is up, you two? Cleaned it up pretty well. Just took a shower last night, too. Had to go and play with the fifth wheel. Because I'm a monkey. You two, what is up? I think I said that already. This place is busier than busy. Big H coming to you from Laredo, Texas. Where it is 78 degrees and I've got a slither of sweat. For all you guys up north, I feel bad for you and I really do because I enjoy the cold weather better than I like the, this heat. It's too early in the season for me. However, anybody who's in snow today, please be careful. Let's go out to you. Uh, 2,135 miles. I had to come down here. I left. When did I leave? Friday? Yeah, Friday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. No, I left Thursday night out of Massachusetts. Um. Yeah, we had to pour it on. I beat my clock to nothing, so I've got 13 hours left on my clock. I'm not getting anything back tonight. I'm only getting back three hours and 15 minutes the following night. So we'll see what he has in store for me. Um, 13 hours really doesn't get you far. Maybe if I get lucky, I'll find so he'll get me something up, maybe up north to Dallas or something. I don't know. We'll see. What well, time will tell. But I've been sitting idle. I dropped off this morning. Sitting idle for the last hour and a half. This place, if anybody's been down to Laredo, this place is absolutely makes New York City look like a countryside. The trucks parked everywhere, upside down, inside out. Who's trying to do a U-turn in a two-lane highway? Just absolute craziness. Then on top of it all, we're going down to Pilot this morning alongside the train tracks. And all of a sudden, out come, like, I don't know, 20 customs agents, uh, border agents, custom agents, both. It's with machine guns, handguns, masks. I'm like, where the hell am I? Holy, something out of a movie. Running, freaking out, cars going past you, stopping traffic, running over the railroad tracks. It was absolute pandemonium. I wish I caught that on the video. I couldn't get to my video on time, though. As quick as they came, as quick as they vanished. Like, where the hell did they go? So this is Laredo, Texas. This is good old Laredo, Texas. Um, I can't wait to get out. <laughs> this is the new facilities Prime has, because I remember coming down here, but it was, certainly wasn't at this yard. I did pick up at, at this yard one time, where you have to leave two uh, load locks, and then they give you two in the trailer. I remember having to sit down on the corner for about seven hours waiting for my load to come across the border. Because I'm, I'm assuming this is all produce going out to wherever. And on top of that, the place I delivered to, they were short like 47 cases. And he goes, every time I order, it's the same problem. So obviously people can't count. But um, yeah, man, it's uh, it turned out to be a beautiful day. I drove in 380 miles of complete fog. complete fog. They, from here and there it break up a little bit, but it's still foggy and then it got really dense again. So that made my drive really longer than what I wanted to be. And on top of that, part of the section of I-35 going south, they have it closed off for about 5-10 miles, I would say. And yeah, so you have to take the frontage road in the fog. I think I was doing 20 miles an hour. I, I just it was just such bad shape so these are the uh these are the days that make driving a truck really interesting so anybody who's coming in is thinking about coming in it's great it's a great thing to do but just be warned that it's not always going to be you know interstates that are super wide super long and there's always going to be challenges along the way and last night was certainly one of those challenges. Um, so come to expect that. So, you know, again, truck driving, the load has to be there through fog, 
through snow, through rain, through sleet, ice storms, wind storms. I mean, my buddy drove across Wyoming yesterday. So, if you come in OTR, it's one thing to stay in local. You don't, you're not going to encounter the stuff that we encounter. But driving local um, is nothing compared to OTR as far as conditions are concerned, right? I mean, not to say that you don't get those conditions, but we can go from fog to rain to sleet to snow all in one drive. So you're always going to be on top of your game, so to speak. But I'm sitting here. I'm waiting for my next for my pre pre plan. I've got food on me. I was going to go to the Flying J, but that's such a mess to get to. They're redoing all the bridges and the roads around here, at least on the interstate they are. But they really need to rethink these side roads where the in industrial complexes are because it's just, it's, like I said, it's a real mess. But anyway, I am out. I'm going to go lay down. I've been going since, uh, what time did I leave last night? About midnight. I was up at 11 o'clock grabbing my things getting knocked on the door. I was just outside of Houston at a Love's last night. I pulled in yesterday afternoon, actually. Um, I must have got, my door must have got knocked on four or five times in the course of my 10-hour break. One guy tried to sell me underwear. Another guy tried to sell me shirts. Some girl was trying to sell me herself. Just real, that was the first time I've been solicited, by the way, for, you know, the oldest trade in the business so to speak but I didn't answer the door she was <laughs> wow I felt sorry you know, I feel bad for these some of these people it's just where did it go wrong right I don't know I don't try to I have my own deal to contend with but yeah so happily sitting here in Laredo I'm praying I get a load out tonight because there's nothing like night driving I've said that a million one times yeah other than the fog I can deal with that because 35 is pretty much a straight shot up the road um, that's really quiet especially late at night and going through Houston can be problematic it's all construction there too so I'd rather do that I'd rather do that deal during the night than having to deal with coming uh, doing that during the day that's for sure but uh, like I said, trucking is a great industry to be in. Now is a better time than never. Prime seems to be picking up, even though I'm waiting. But I'm waiting because he knows what's going on with my clock, and there's probably nothing they can give me. So there's a chance I can get something, like I said, up to Dallas, somewhere like that, maybe up to Oklahoma, Kansas, in the time that I have, or... I may sit here and get a fresh 7 o'clock. Not that I want to, but it is what it is. When you make a guy run 2,000 miles in four days, do the math with how, you, how hard you got to run. And it wipes out my clock. Anyway, enough out of the big man. Z, uh, Big H is out. Stay safe. Make great decisions. And wherever you are, stay warm. Stay cool. Try not to stress the small stuff. Peace out.